Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I'm doing a series of videos on the Holly 1921 barrel. And I've done uh, one video already where we uh, disassembled the carburetor and, uh, and I have cleaned it since then. So uh, you see it probably looks cleaner than it did in the first video. Uh, <clears throat> I got the metering block here, which uh, takes some uh, special work. And it looked pretty crusty, so I wanted to be sure I took it apart. Uh, and uh, the reason is it's got a little check weight that goes into this hole and it's got a little check ball that goes into this hole here. And when I took it apart, this check weight was just all kinds of junk around it. It never would have sealed. Uh, so I wanted to be sure it was clean. So uh, I did this off video because I have to put it in a vise and uh, I don't have a camera over there and all that. But anyhow, uh, first I drilled these out. They got little uh, uh, cups in them like this, little, uh, I guess you call them clean out plugs. And so I drilled those out carefully, careful not to, to make the hole bigger or anything like that. And I got those out and then I took a, uh, some uh, old like simple green and sprayed in there and I, I, got, I got these little bottle brushes, like uh, wh whatever you can do to get those real clean in there. Uh, get them washed out real good, dry it out. Uh, <clears throat> and then when you're ready, uh, spray it with some silk and spray lubricant. Uh, that'll help uh, things to uh, move around in there freely like they should. You don't want this stuff sticking. So now, uh, <clears throat> I want to explain this a little bit because we're going to test the check ball and the check weight in this thing. And uh, since I don't have all the stuff here to check, I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Uh, the first uh, well that we're going to work on right here is the intake. And you can see it's got a hole on the bottom. And so when our diaphragm moves this way, um, it uh, puts kind of a sucking motion you know, through this hole and uh, it's going to bring fuel through this hole into the uh, metering block here. Okay, And what this uh, check ball is for, I'll put it in there, is when it's done, that check ball, if you can see it with a camera hopefully, that check ball is going to plug off the hole. So when you actually push on the gas, um, it's not going to, it's going to keep the, the gas from being pushed right back into the bowl again, okay? So, we got to make sure the check ball is going to seal. And the way you do that is uh, spray a little uh, uh, soapy water or something here, or simple green, something like that in, in here. And uh, put your little uh, brass drip punch, be sure you're using brass. And you're going to hold it up against, uh, up against the hole here. And you take a little air. And uh, uh, you're going to have to hold it this way. Sorry, but I want to show you the hole. You're going to uh, shoot some air in here and make sure you don't get a lot of bubbles this way, okay? Makes sense. You, get, you don't want any air to get by it, or at least very little. Now, if it does, you're going to have to seat it by taking your uh, brass drip punch and a hammer and tap this a couple times. Be careful because... Uh, uh, you hit it too hard, you're going to get it where it gets stuck and you can't get it out or whatever and you're going to have to throw this away. But that's the way you do that one. Okay, next one is the uh, uh, outlet part of it. Uh, you got the diaphragm here full of fuel and when you press the gas it's going to shoot it through this hole into this well and uh, you got the uh, check weight here so that uh, uh, when you're sucking in gas, the check weight's going to be closed and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Keep, keep, keeps the fuel from only going one way. So that goes in there. You can do the same kind of test. Put a little soapy water in there. Uh, th this time you, you blow in through this hole to see if you get uh, very many bubbles coming out of here. And if you do, you tap on that a few times. And, uh, again, be careful. Uh, you, you hit it too hard, you're going to... Uh, uh, you may get it so stuck in there that you can't get it out, and, and I've done it, and then you got to throw the whole thing away. Okay? And like I say, a little silicon spray lubricant in these uh, uh, will help after you're done anyway, uh, help these move freely. Now, now that you're done with that, you got these little plugs, uh, which incidentally I will be including in all of my uh, 1920 carburetor kits. You'll need two of them. Um, and that's to plug off these holes because you've drilled them out and I tell you you won't find these in any kits out there. 
Uh, it's going to be exclusive to my kit. But at any rate, uh, they'll be in your kit, uh, no extra charge, and you put it put it in the hole there and uh, get it lined up and uh, tap it in there a little bit. So, of course, you want your uh, check weight in there first, and uh, that's what keeps it in there. And you do the same thing with this other hole with with the uh, the other one, which I'll do on uh, uh, off the video. So that takes care of the two, the check ball and the check weight in this thing. Um, <clears throat> The other thing you're going to have to look at, and I don't usually take these apart, I just make sure that this check ball it works nice and freely. And that way it's good to go. They're just not worth tearing apart unless you really have to. Uh, <clears throat> and what this is, uh, this is going to let more fuel in at uh, higher speeds. And this is your economizer uh, diaphragm. And by default, at idle speed, your diaphragm is pulled up. and the spring is compressed and thus this thing is sitting up and it's and with it like that your check ball is closed and it's not going to allow extra fuel in there um, when you hit the throttle you have less vacuum in the engine and what it does is uh, the spring uh, starts pushing out and pushes down on this opens the check ball and allows uh, extra fuel to fuel in uh, flow into your metering block uh, uh, which eventually gets in your venturi and that gets you a little more fuel at higher speeds. So that's that's the name of that tune. Our main uh, jet, by the way, will screw in here. Anyhow, so that that's a whole video on these things. They take a lot of time, a lot of care. So that that's what these things are about. And uh, most people call these metering blocks. So we're going to end the video right here. That this is the second video, and uh, the next video we'll continue on uh, putting this carburetor together. Thank you for watching. I think that worked better. Mm -hmm.